Yo, what's up guys? Bajiri here. Now today is a very exciting day because Shadowlands comes out later today. I'm super excited and I really wanted to make a quick video for you guys addressing probably one of the questions I see the most on stream, which is what covenant will I be choosing for my warrior? And of course, uh, what spec and things like that. And just before we really dig into the answers to those questions, I want to mention that we'll be streaming um, a ton of Shadowlands pretty much every weekday on stream, usually within the time window of like 10 a.m. PT to 5 p.m. PT, and you guys are always more than welcome to swing by and ask some questions in the chat, and we'll be, an we'll be able to answer those for you right then and there, but you guys definitely can continue to ask questions in the comments of the YouTube channel, and I'll either try to answer those in the comment section or do what I'm doing right now and make videos about the questions that I see most often. So um, when it comes to the, just the first one, Fury or Arms? What's the plan? Uh, probably Arms will continue to dominate for PvP, but I do think that Fury will be a lot of fun in PvE. So I may try to play some Fury in PvE as well, but the thing about it is the, the two DPS specs for PvE, you just kind of play what you want. But for PvP, I'm pretty uh, confident that Arms is going to continue to dominate, so we'll do that. But the big one is uh, Covenant Choice. So... I've been a little bit hesitant on providing any kind of like big, yes, this is what I'm going to do. This is the plan kind of uh, statement because up until now, it's been in beta, right? So things can change and things have changed. Uh, I think one of the biggest changes have been the Soulbind conduit thingies. Um, I know that, that Kyrian was adjusted quite a bit recently. And keep in mind that... Those kind of things will probably continue to still happen. I think that we'll still see plenty of balancing that happens a lot of times in the beginning of new expansions is that stuff comes out and it's like, whoa, this is really powerful. This is going to need to get tuned. So keep that in mind when you're choosing your covenant, even when you're watching this video, um, that I feel like it's important to play something that you think is cool and fun and fits what you want to do more than just picking something just because the numbers say it's the best because numbers can change that being said i think there are some pretty sort of clear powerful choices that you can make right now um as things stand and even if things get adjusted i i think that the decisions that i'm leaning towards will continue to be good and i'll tell you why so i'm logging into the beta right now a really easy way to test this stuff out is just to walk over here so I think I'll probably show you in order, like, of, like, you know, probably, like, the least powerful, right? So, I'm not super enthused about Night Fae. So, the thing about Night Fae is, you have, the, I mean, the armor looks cool, but what you have is, like, a shockwave, which is really neat. Like, a shockwave is super cool if, uh... It, if it wasn't a minute and a half cooldown, but I believe that you can use this use like one of the uh, Soulbind conduits to make it a shorter cooldown basically what it does is it does a big shockwave and it knocks him down and It will continue to do damage and continue to knock down uh, As long as somebody stays in it, but it's every three seconds So you can already tell not a PvP ability right and I and I believe at, it used to give you rage it gives you rage uh, that's cool. And then you have Soul Shape, which allows you to kind of turn into like a little fox and zip around real quick, which is cool for the mobility. Last 12 seconds or indefinitely while in a rest area. So that's kind of neat. Um, but I don't see this being especially useful in PvP. Uh, maybe kind of a cool for PvE for like big pulls. So if you want to be a Night Fae Warrior, you do it. Uh, I just don't think it's absolutely the best, but that's fine. Um, now, in addition, we have, uh, we have the Maldraxxus which gives you access to a banner which is cool the banner is, is pretty neat uh, uh this, this is not maldraxxus pardon me sir be right back it looks pretty uh pretty big and warlike maldraxxus so it gives you a banner and you activate the banner it's actually a three minute cooldown I, i'm pretty sure it used to be a two minute cooldown but then they buffed the power of it so this is actually a massively powerful cooldown just keep that in mind so you pick up the banner this is at least how it used to be um and you acquire stacks right and then when once the stacks reach uh, a maximum you can drop the banner and it does a bunch of damage or it gives you a bunch of damage buff and a bunch of critical strike buff which is pretty cool um well, i guess it also gives you health and critical strike chance so this used to be a little bit different 
and they changed it so it is better now so maybe it's actually not the way it, okay so it doesn't stack up anymore it looks like this is way different now so you just plop it down it gives you maximum health I, sh I guess i should read the tooltip i'm just lying to you guys so you plant it down it gives you max health gives you critical strike chance uh to you and two allies for 20 seconds so and while active so this is this is where it stacks up it doesn't it no longer requires you to stack it up so you throw it down and you spend rage which then increases your critical strike damage by one percent per stack up to 30 percent okay sorry so definitely misread this thing but or misunderstood it but it seems like it could be really cool for like some big one shots or for pve but having to stand in a banner and having to slowly ramp up by spending rage and pvp those things don't generally work out great because your position is is sort of going to change and you're not always able to spend a lot of rage in pvp right you're usually able to like as a warrior you kind of make contact do big damage get kited make contact do big damage uh but a three minute cooldown that gives you a bunch of extra damage uh and critical strike chance does sound fun but i don't think it's going to be a go-to for pvp uh, this thing is pretty neat too. The flesh craft, where you form a shield of flesh and bone for two, uh, sorry, for four seconds that absorbs damage equal to your health. Uh, there's a talent in this that makes it so that you're like immune to CC during this. At least there was. Once again, that may have been adjusted too. Um, but that was pretty cool. It's just for me, it just doesn't have the power, right? It doesn't have the power that some of these other two do. So I would say for me, Night Fae is probably uh, the worst. I think Maldraxxus is probably the third best. And then for second best, I really think that Venthyr is cool. I really am a big fan of Condemn. You've seen me post some videos about it early on in my in my beta gameplay. Uh, I was playing with Condemn, and the armor looks really cool too. Um, it basically replaces Execute. I think it makes it do a teeny little bit less damage. It turns the Execute damage into Shadow damage. Uh, but it can be used on enemies who are 80% health or above. And it also puts, like, a debuff on them where they do less damage to you. Like, it's like a shield on you from their damage, which is pretty neat. Uh, I like the way that works. That's pretty cool. And then Door of Shadows, which is an ability that you can just use to teleport around. It's kind of like Reaper from, uh, from Overwatch, if you guys have played that. And that's pretty neat. Um... And I think Condemn is really fun. If you play Massacre, if there's like a only a 45% HP uh, window where you can't be executed by a warrior, <laughs> which is pretty cool. And then if you play Sudden Death, you can still chop doing that. And right now, Execute hits really hard, so that's cool. Some of the some of the drawbacks to that are Condemn does deal a little bit less damage than normal Execute, and um, for example, anybody that's magic immune will not be able to be executed. So like if a rogue is low health and they pop Cloak of Shadows, you can no longer execute them, which is kind of a pain. Um, but I, I, I like, I like the, the look of Venthyr, like the black and red transmog with like the bloody effects on it is like so much my vibe. Um, being a vampire is not so much my vibe, uh, like the vampire butler thing. Although I do think that you're, what you're eventually doing, spoiler alert, is like taking down the Venthyr elite dude, taking down the establishment. So <laughs> I think that's kind of fun because just from the, uh, the cinematics and stuff, they don't really seem very nice. So that's neat. I think Venthyr is really cool. I think Venthyr is probably going to be good for PvE, especially for Fury, right? Generating Rage off of Execute, 80% above health targets. Sounds awesome. Um, and they do have some really cool uh, soul binds. So this is just, when you scroll through, it'll show you, uh, like, the, the, the final talent of them. So there's, like, you know, some damage reduction, like a tanky guy, a utility guy. And then this Thrill Seeker is actually pretty cool. Uh, increasing your haste by 20% by for 10 seconds is pretty cool. I didn't show all the other ones because, once again, we could, but I just am not, I, I just don't think that for me these are like big choices, right? Like the, these ones I just didn't feel super powerful about, but once again, I mean, it buffs your banner, it buffs your stats. I mean, this, this banner could be pretty crazy strong once things get all buffed up. Uh, doing some more armor, your armor fights for you once you die. <laughs> I mean, like, there's some, there's some funny stuff. We'll go over here real quick. See what these guys are. Um, healing increases your HP and mastery. I mean, like that's not bad. It's not bad. When you take damage that would kill you, you do a little, uh, little rejuvenation seed, which is like not something that you're gonna get in PvP really. Your damage to targets above 75% health and healing targets below is increased by 10%. I mean, that's cool. It's cool. And you get movement speed. So like, there's some, there's some not bad stuff in all of these. 
Uh, so by all means, if you like, if you just want to play Night Fae because that's your jam, do it. If you like the look of Maldraxxus and you want to have like an Omega Burst, super crazy cooldown on a three minute cooldown, like do it. Like you're going to have fun with that. If you want to have Venthyr where you get Condemned, which looks, looks amazing, the armor looks really, really cool, do it. I got to say, for me though, Kyrian is going to be my number one choice. Uh, I like their vibe a lot. They're these these sort of angelic warriors living in sort of what looks a little bit more like a Greek Valhalla kind of thing, right? I know that those are not the same mythology, but you can go with me on this one. Um, and they have some really cool abilities. So the main ability for, for Warrior, and this has been adjusted over time, but what's so powerful about it is the utility of it. So you throw a Kyrian Spear at the target. This is something that you would have seen me playing with a lot during my beta arena gameplays. Uh, you throw a Spear down in an AoE, and the Spear tethers people to that location, so they can't move out of that spear uh, for four seconds. So it's really nice for casters, it's really nice to use aggressively when you want somebody to not be able to run away from you uh, to do damage to them, or you can use it as a peel, like if somebody's attacking your healer, you throw the spear down, and warriors have a lot of like defensive utility for their teammates now, so intervene is gonna soak a lot of damage for your teammate. Then you throw a spear on whoever's chasing them to lock them in place so they can't chase your teammate. Then you have Piercing Howl. So you have a lot of really cool stuff, and, and Spear of Bastion just works really well with that. It does damage once again, and it generates rage, which is cool. And for everybody who's like, man, Arms Warriors still don't have a self heal. What is this BS? Well, you can summon a steward, and he will bring you three uh, little files of Serenity, which restore 20% uh, health, which I think is less than it used to, but once again, there are... Um, conduit paths that make that a much more powerful heal but it also takes off uh disease poison and bleed effects which is very powerful against like assassination rogues feral druids other warriors things that in dks with the diseases very powerful and it also uh will do other stuff for you which is not that big of a deal um but the potions are very cool it, it might be a little bit of a pain in the butt to have to summon your steward every single arena match forever and always click on him and talk to him but i bet there's a macro that you can make that like summons your steward when you cast your mount and also interacts with him so it automatically gives you the potion so that's pretty cool i, I like the i like the the kyrian vibe i like their 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 worry their warriors in valhalla thing i love the spear the self heal is great um now, Pelagos was, like, crazy strong, and they nerfed him a little bit. But if you look at this, Spear of Bastion increases your mastery by 350 for 10 seconds and occasionally expels sor Sorrowful Memories. Walking through these memories extends the effect. So, mastery is huge for warriors. Remember that mastery just increases the amount of damage that targets with deep wounds on them take. So, 350 mastery is kind of a big deal. Um, this one is... Not probably the one I'm thinking... This is probably, like, not the one I'm going to use, right? You don't really crit a ton in PvP, um, but it's like a healing thing for your teammates. So, I mean, once again, I mean, if, if you really want to go ultimate double down on the warrior utility thing, you could do this. But this guy's kind of funny. Uh, it doesn't show it right here, but there's a there's a talent in his skill tree where when you drop below 35% HP, you just AoE stun people, and that stun doesn't, have, doesn't share DR, so that's hilarious. Like, a rogue smoke bombs you, <laughs> it stuns you and takes you below 35% health, and then they just get stunned. Pretty hilarious. Um, but anyway, this one had takes a after using a bunch of damaging or healing spells, uh, Brawn comes and beats up on people for you, which is pretty funny. I think Pelagos is still good, uh, so I'm not super concerned. But once again, we're gonna get into the game. We're gonna test all this stuff out. I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what I was thinking, what I was leaning towards. Um, admittedly, I have not been just like purely grinding beta. I've been having a lot of fun playing uh, uh, pre patch, playing a bunch of alts as you've probably seen on the videos. And part of the reason is to keep all this stuff fresh. Like, I wanted to get in, I wanted to get a, an idea of it, and then I wanted to be able to explore it and have fun with it. Um, but I definitely wanted to, this morning, before we have Shadowlands launch, get into this and give you guys an idea of what I was thinking for Covenant. So, like I said, some things have changed. I feel like the, the biggest change was this banner thing. Um, it used to work like a, like a Path of Exile banner, but now it just looks like it's just a, like a cooldown, right? You just grab, you just take the banner, plop it down, and do big damage. So what we can actually do is just probably just test this out. So you get you get a banner, just bang, you throw it down, and you're just buffed for twenty for twenty percent HP. And if and if I spent rage, then it would give me more, right? And you can flesh craft, give yourself a shield, which is kind of neat. Cool. I'm gonna waddle over here. I'm gonna test this out. So this is Door of Shadows. Zoop. And then we if we had, I think there there used to be. Uh, Target dummies, maybe not anymore. Oh, there, here we go. 
So, and then there's Condemn, right? Which is, I'm gonna click it, don't don't judge me. Which is like, oh, like so sick, dude. So sick. To Condemn. Boom! I love the animation, I just don't know if I can... If I can have that be, you know, the ability that I use, right? It's just not gonna... Not gonna work, man. But, what I'm thinking, actually, is I'm probably gonna have one warrior that is Condemn. I just think that the Spear of Bastard is pretty dang cool. And then the Shockwave. Goodoo! And see, it kind of stays on the ground here. And it generates rage for you. And people get restunned, so it's kind of like earth Earthquake for uh, for Elemental Shamans. And then you go, Wee! And you zip around, it's like a little fox. Which is cute. I also have my Fleshcraft Shield still, which is neat. Super OP. Um, but yeah, and then we go over to Kyrian and we're like, yeah. We're like, yeah, so you call Steward. Stuart the Steward. Gives you a potion to play you a song. And then you grab this little thing and throw them the spear. And see, people will get stuck to this. So if they try to walk out, they'll get tethered and they'll get sucked back in. Which is pretty cool. It doesn't really last all that long. It's on a minute cooldown. But it is a, it is a pretty powerful ability. And I, and I like Kyrian in general, so I'm probably going to go Kyrian. Uh, on my main, that's what I recommend for, for PvP. I think, my, in my understanding, I think uh, Venthyr might even be better for PvE still, but I think for my PvP bros out there, uh, Kyrian's a really solid call. But once again, it's it's so important that you just play what you want, play what you think is fun, and go from there. What I wanted to do with this video is just kind of give you guys an idea of what I was thinking, and give you guys like a quick look if you hadn't sort of seen any, any beta content yet about what each ability does, just super briefly. I know that, I, I say super briefly in this video is still about almost 20 minutes long, but you know how it gets. I wanna, I wanna chat with you guys, I wanna share with you guys what I'm thinking, uh, share with you guys uh, some info that might be helpful to you making your choice of your covenant, but what I'm gonna do, like I said, I'm probably gonna have multiple warriors and make different covenants for him, just have fun. Um, but I think my main warrior for PvP would definitely recommend uh, Kyrian, if, if PvP is kind of like your main thing, that's what I'm doing. And maybe for PvE or just for fun, for like BG blasting with Condemn, Venthyr could be a lot of fun too. But we gotta hit the gym this morning so we can get on and get ready to rock for Shadowlands today. Very excited, hopefully you guys are too. Thanks so much for watching, make sure you guys show the video some love, and we'll see you guys in Shadowlands. Peace!